think the hardest part of my industry right now is Good morning and welcome back to Renovation Ranch. It's snowing. The snow finally came to northern Idaho. It's been higher elevation. We could see it on the peaks but it finally hit the valley floor and it's heavy and wet just like what I've been seeing in southern Idaho and uh, most of Montana I think. I know definitely northwest Montana got some really heavy wet snow over the last couple of days. Temperatures have dropped in California. Lots of moisture, so I'm sure stuff's gonna keep on piling in. So, um, I actually want to take you over there. There's a a bush. It's a really tall bush that looks very heavy and tired right now. But um, today is just kind of a working at home, catching up day. We're still down to one vehicle. I got snowflakes in my eyeball. We are still down to one vehicle and we've done the phil has the car all day or i have the car and i bring him to work but on that particular day i ended up going to the job like three or four times drop him off and pick him up and all that because i had to bring him things and i'll let him fill you guys in on what we know about the truck which i don't think is a lot um, but we're grateful for a vehicle that is running and will do fine in the snow and it fits everybody um it's just it's frustrating when you have your your rhythm and your routine and now it's been kind of come to a screeching halt and you can't do your normal routine so this morning i dropped the older two off at church they're going for a weekend camp um about an hour west of here so they're actually going into washington and i've not been following weather over there but the youth leader said there's more snow there currently than there is here so they should have fun hopefully they'll stay warm where i grew up um there was plenty of ice and snow but not a lot of deciduous trees that left remnants on the ground that could become an issue so this tree over here, well, it's really a bush. Pretty sure it's more of a bush. That is very, very badly needing to be trimmed back, but um, it's not, and it's not my problem. So I guess that's another frustrating thing. There, I see things that need to happen, but they don't. So anyways, I'm gonna show you this thing. Look at this. Look how heavy and tired it is. I mean, it usually is probably eight foot tall or more but it's just so heavy perfect for snowballs and snowmen not so good for power lines and tree branches so i'm gonna go inside and um dry off a little bit and check on janelle she's just wrapping up some a math test i think and phil's on the phone with uh, one of his vendors trying to figure out think countertop issues for one of his jobs that's going on right now so thanks for coming with us today and we'll check in in a little while glasses is a new thing for me and that is a constant issue right now I don't like it I'm just gonna tell you that it's very annoying the batteries are done turning too. time to rotate and I've already wiped them off I don't know six or seven times today if you wear glasses and you live where things get wet all the time how long did it take you to get used to wet drippy foggy smudged glasses Somebody gifted me a bag of apples, so we're going to make applesauce. 
My hands are cramping. These are, look at, so tiny. It's just a really big difference between the store-bought apple and this little baby apple. Our old house had a couple of apple trees and so I would usually, I didn't make apple sauce, but I would prep um, pie filling and freeze it. And so if I want to make a pie, I just have to thaw it out for you know a little while and then I'm ready to go. So I do have somewhere in a box an apple core peeler slicer thing that you know you crank. But right now I'm just using my 20 year old little vegetable peeler. My hands are cramping up. But I'm hoping this will be enough for one batch of my mom's um, apple sauce recipe that I just learned she just sort of made up. I thought it was like passed down through family generations and it was, you know, no, it's not. It's not. She said she made it up. So anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. And it is still snowing. Yeah, but the kids made it to camp and sounds like they're having a blast. So I'm just going to uh, core them the best that I can, get the seeds out. And then I'm just going to throw them in my uh, Dutch oven and I'll show you the rest in a little while. I'm going to add, uh, let's see, brown sugar and then we will put in some cinnamon and nutmeg and water and just cook it on low until it is tender and kind of um, cooked down a little bit and then I'll just mash it. Here's the one thing about this. Um, how many apples? You know what? Just fill up your pot. I don't know how many apples. Recipe doesn't say how many apples to use. Uh, what type of apples? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what these are. They're just apples. But here's the beauty of it. If you don't can things, um, maybe you never have, maybe you're not interested, maybe you don't have the uh, proper equipment, that's fine. Put it in a freezer safe container, pop it in the freezer, and then you can pull it out for Thanksgiving, planning ahead, sort of like how I used to do my apple pie. I would always have apples from our trees, and I would process them ready for a specific pie recipe, and you still get the fresh apple pie with a little bit less work day of. I really miss having chickens. All of this stuff that's in the bowl that is scraps essentially, I would have just thrown it up for my chickens to eat. Maybe goats would eat it too, I don't know. Haven't had a, a goat since I was, you know, little. When we were, when I was a child, we had a couple goats. And, a huh, funny story. At some point, they, you know, it was decided it was time to get rid of the goats. and. My mom will have to let me know if I got this story correct or not. And I don't know how they found this lady, but some lady comes to pick up our goats. And mind you, these goats had been to the school for show and tell and um, bottle fed and all this stuff. And this lady comes, we think, to pick up our goats so she can, you know, have pets or whatever like we had. Um, she hogtied them, threw them in her trunk, and was gone. And we're pretty sure that they went into a pot that night or shortly thereafter. That's the story I remember at least. I don't know, it's comical, but anyways, back to the point is I don't know what to do with all these scraps anymore. But I kind of miss having chickens too, because A, we go through eggs like nobody's business but also they just um, are good to eat up some of these kitchen scraps though. So as I told you this applesauce has brown sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, I think water was the other ingredient. So I went to get my brown sugar. All right all you need to make brown sugar is obviously sugar and I have organic cane sugar um, from Costco. It's kind of 
It's not a super white, I don't know if you can tell the color, but it has a little bit more of a sugar cane like coloring to it. The other thing is molasses and I learned something about molasses. Apparently black shot molasses has more nutritional value than the other one, I don't know. I guess regular molasses and everything. This is a stronger flavor to it, which I'm totally okay with. But anyways, one cup of sugar to one or two tablespoons of molasses, depending how light or dark you like your brown sugar. And then I just use whisk attachment for my KitchenAid mixer and mix it for a few minutes, scrape it up, mix it a little bit more until it looks like the molasses is incorporated properly. And easy peasy, don't have to go to the store. Um, so yay, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Wait, hold on. Okay. He came in to make lunch and I said, do you have anything to say to our, our people out there in YouTube land? And he was like, I can't cut bread and talk at the same time. But if I were to measure his pieces of bread, they are cut like exactly the same size. I'm a carpenter. <laughs> Cup. Okay, I did four cups of sugar and which basically would mean at least four tablespoons of molasses. So I was gonna use my one quarter cup but it's not here because that would be four tablespoons. So I don't, I actually like dark brown sugar. So I'm gonna do the one third plus a little bit. If you just put a tiny bit, that's probably too much of um, a vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever into your cup. It comes sliding right out when you're done. Look at that, it pretty much just slides right out. So that's my pro tip of the day on measuring sticky things. It works with peanut butter, honey, molasses. The sugar on the bottom almost looks like light brown and then it's very dark up top. So I just need to get in there, scrape everything up, and then we'll go for another mix. Here's the other thing about homemade brown sugar. I have never had an issue with it um, drying out. I do have a sugar bear, and you soak this in water for 10 or 20 minutes, shake it off, plop it in your brown sugar, and it prevents the sugar from drying out and clumping up and becoming like a brick and you can't use it. Since I started making my own brown sugar, I haven't used this once and I've not had any issues with um, the sugar getting dried out. So I don't know what the difference is, but it's a win for me. And so now we can go on to making applesauce. I now have a helper. Hey. Taking a break. How much of this do I do? A good healthy teaspoon of nutmeg. Um, two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm not going to pack it and I'm not even going to do two full cups, I don't think. Two cups-ish. And then we need two cups of water. And then I'll turn it on medium heat and stir it around. Cover it for a while, cook it down. Like I said, once it's tender enough to mash it, I will do that check in with you guys in a bit well hey hey guys how are you doing my knee hurts <laughs> uh so let's see I'm not quite sure what uh justice told you what's going on today but uh it's snowing outside for the first time um we worked all day yesterday on a pole barn that we uh, uh set post for i don't know a week or so ago and uh i found one post that is uh not set correctly it's a little bit out so uh today is not a work day um i had some office work to do and it's snowing so tomorrow will be my uh my work day waiting for trusses to go delivered on that um getting some office work done and uh waiting for updates on my truck um i talked to my mechanic earlier in the week and he was going to try to get to it as soon as possible um but just like everybody else, uh, he's short staffed and uh, has tons of projects. So it might be a little bit, but we're making it work. Um, 
it's a little tough and uh, whatnot, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, in the meantime, I, I did some uh, plumbing and some uh, crawl space work, let's say Monday, something like that. And I don't know what the heck I did, but uh, the front part of my knee is just killing me. So sorry for the monotone and the little bit of uh, non-excitement, but my knee is killing me. Um, but with that, hope everybody is doing great. Just wanted to check in and uh, let you guys know what's going on. I'm going to get back to it and try to get some office work done. Uh, I just made myself a sandwich. So we'll get all this stuff taken care of. And then we have uh, a game night tonight at the church. So with that, we'll let you go. I'll shoot it on back to Jess. Hope everybody is doing great and we'll talk to you soon. This is like snow rain mixed together. It's crazy. It's so wet, so, so wet heavy snow the power has been flickering on and off a couple times so I so wish that we had propane and wood stove and all the things that we've had in the past but this is just rely on the grid and I don't know if I like it because I literally have like two candles <laughs> that's not enough to keep the house warm it feels like a spring snow even though it is November 4th something like that so, yep, I'm going to uh, take Janelle over to get her hair cut, and Phil's waiting on a call from his truss vendor, I guess. And if the trusses are ready, I'm not sure how they're going to do that in this weather, but they're supposed to deliver trusses. And, yeah, I think Dakota's loving this. Checking the applesauce. I don't know how long it's been simmering. I'm gonna say half hour, maybe 45 minutes. It smells wonderful. It's been a day. Our kids are at uh, winter camp, and uh, it's always, I don't know about you guys, you can comment down below, but it's always weird when. Uh, the kids are gone, whether it's one, two, all of them. Only two are it's gone. It's just the, <laughs> the dynamics change and it's always just mm -hmm. weird. Um, but kind of a, a quiet day. The weather is not good. It's not snowing, but it's cold and rainy and uh, it's probably gonna get cold tonight and turn all to ice. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I just- But you needed a day of rest, so. Yeah. Yeah, so he begrudgingly took his day of rest. <laughs> I did some rest. I did some office work. Uh, I think Jess was in the kitchen, and whatnot. So All day. Hopefully, like hopefully it. it's a nicer day tomorrow, and I can at least get uh, a little bit of my project that I need to get done done. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on trusses, and I think the hardest part of my industry right now is the wait. Uh, it, it just seems like everybody is backed up, everybody's busy, and they'll say, hey, we'll have it to you on Monday, and Friday comes around, it's still not there. So, you just have to wait. That's just all there is to it. And it, it for somebody who doesn't have patience <laughs> for that stuff like me, it drives me crazy. We plan our lives around it, and I can't, you know, do stuff like billing until I have a certain amount of work done. So. Yep. So with that, we are headed off, like I said earlier, to game night tonight at church. We appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you on the next one. If you wouldn't mind uh, hitting that subscribe button or the thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. Other than that, have a great week, and we will catch you next time. Bye. Here's a cookie. It broke. Try I'm eating it. But there's a ton... I'm to drink anyway.